All right, so when you think of the heart, you've got to remember that the heart is a muscle, right? And like any muscle, it's going to need oxygen delivery, and it's going to have carbon dioxide as a byproduct of its metabolism. So the, the blood that's running through the heart, the four chambers of the heart, you've got to remember it's running very fast, and the walls of the heart are way too thick for that blood to actually be absorbed. So what, what I'm going to describe here is something called coronary circulation. It's the, it's the blood supply of the heart. Okay. Now what you see here when we start off is something called an ostia. This is an opening of the aorta. So even before we get to this brachiocephalic trunk, we can actually start to feed the heart tissue itself. This is going to be the right coronary artery that you see here in red going down the right side. This is going to give rise to this right marginal arterial branch and then continue all the way on to the posterior side until it feeds into the posterior interventricular artery. If we look at the left side of the heart, if I were able to remove this pulmonary trunk in this left atrium, we would see the left coronary artery. And the left coronary artery branches almost immediately into something called the anterior interventricular artery. That's in red. This is also known as the LAD, or the left anterior descending. We also then branch into the circumflex artery. Circumflex, like the circumference of a circle, goes around the heart. This gives rise to the left marginal arterial branch. And that circumflex artery in red continues all the way here until we get to the, again, posterior interventricular artery. So that's the blood delivery to the tissues of the heart. Now that's oxygenated blood coming in. We're going to have, carb we're going to have deoxygenated blood coming back. So, if we look at this one right here, right now we are in the, um, the anterior interventricular groove. Interventricular groove or interventricular sulcus. We're going to have the great cardiac vein. Great cardiac vein is this one in blue. Comes all the way up, rolls all the way around. Still the great cardiac vein coming to the posterior side. This is on the left side of the heart. The left side of the heart is the great side of the heart. You can remember that because on the right side, we have the small cardiac vein. So the small cardiac vein that you see here in blue comes around the right side of the heart, meets up with this middle cardiac vein that sits in the posterior interventricular sulcus. Middle cardiac vein, right cardi small cardiac vein on the right side, great cardiac vein coming from the left, all go to this spot right here, which is what we call the coronary sinus. Now this is deoxygenated blood that's going to be delivered into the heart at the same place that all deoxygenated blood is going to go, the right atrium. And you see this opening right here, the opening of the coronary sinus, right here in the right atrium of the heart.